Uh, so welcome back guys this is nick from 3d animation guru and on our last video uh our last video uh we created a, a revo sequencer and on this video i want to explain more about how the revo sequencer work and i would like to start by explain so we created this the master one which we have here then we get the short one i've shown you on the uh, my last video then we double clicked and like if let me just do something let me just go back to the content browser this year now we are going if you are in the sequence you cannot add anything so if you want to add like a character you need to go to the content browser and now we have this one the one that imported the uh, paraguin and have this character here and then i go to my hilo i can just double click this one and drag it there and like you can see here there's already a camera created so i don't like adding it so i just delete it and i can just come to the animation and i choose one of those one from the animation the reason why i don't add this one because so many of those characters they are made for our uh, games and the camera that is there is used for like for only for game print so you cannot add like you cannot animate the character the way you want to see them so now when you have your character there maybe i can decide to add a light so i just need to hold this light and drag the light there you can just move the light there or the side or i can use those here the location of the light to see my character good i zoom maybe out and then i maybe make this one um let me just down e down a left and then so that i can see it good so now when I come back, I have the option to add my character on my sequencer. So what I do is that you can click this one and drag it there, which is good. Just come here and drag it. That's the things, um, the shortcut, or you can select your character, go to the track, actor to sequencer, click this one, we are calling it ability E add and then now you have those two the reading you have the animation and transform so if you want to animate your character this is how the sequencer act so before i want to explain to you how the sequencer look like on the sequencer you have this one here is where you save the sequencer you have the search if you want to search for anything you have the uh, create a camera if you want to create a camera you can just click here and create a camera direct which i'm going to show you you have the radar. If I click this one, like the radar, this is where we are going now to later our project. This one I'll also show you and explain to you deep. Then you have this uh, the action. Then you have the view. If you want to hide or to make to hide or to see anything, then you have the playback. We have this one, the key. This one, like if you just click, you can just put the key. Like if you want the cubic or the linear, you are motion to be the linear or sometimes to the be constant. You can just use this one here. Then you have this on the key here and then we have all of those the other important things here is the frame like now you see now we are using the active frames per second you can just change the frames the one that you want here just click you can choose 12 frames per, per second for animation 15 frames per second you can also use 24 frames per second which i use a lot for the frames and whatever or 60 frames per second so this is where we just change. If you just, I need 24 frames per second, just need to click and now it will be shared here. But let's leave it to the 30 frames per second. And then we have the curves here. Those are the curves that you, if you like this one, I'll just show you how you can just like, sometimes you, you like, you have a strobe and you like your character to start crying on this rope, and this to be linear, like when the, when the character is on this slope that it can just go up and then go down. This is where you come and share those curves. So now we have this one here. This is a, like if my prehead is here. Let me show you something. Like now I've done that. So if I just want to get my, I've done a mistake. I can just say undo, and then it will be reset. Now I wanted to take my prehead here, and then I want to bring it back. So I can just click back. And then it's just going to all be on the back side. So if I just want to play an animation which you don't have, so we can, if I want to add animation this character, I just need to go to the animation, 
plus animation I have the ability whatever let's let, maybe let's let's take something like um target start which is very small so we can just undo that one is to not help us we can just look like something like um or we can just type here something like i do and then we see what we have like a cobot and maybe pray and you see that one there's a problem because it's like uh he is floating on the air trying to drop and something like that one so we can just undo again and let's look for another idol lmb and see what we have here so this one is just an idol without anything so you can just try to see for what so let me just undo again and now let's try to make our character like shoot something like shoot mm -hmm. let's see what we have forward targeting loop ability dead uh dead backward yeah this maybe this one is good so if we pray you can see the character is dying and now maybe we can decide to make this one slow so what i just do i just click a light click go to property and play rate is 1.2 so, so i just make this one to be less so i'll just make this one like 0 0.6 and now if we pray you can see your character is dying slowly so that's how you do so now like if you see when we are praying and then we come back so if we, we are just clicking this one to pray if you want to create on the back side you can do the same click the other arrow uh, to the next then you have jump to the next and so the one that i use a lot is pray and this one here back so if you want to see this one good you can just drag this one here and make it small a uh, big and now you can see your animation here good so if now i pray again we have our animation so um this video was meant for like um trying to explain to you how the sequence acts and things you need to know the sequencer and i've shown you so the transformation we can just like i'll just show you i use transformation a lot like if i want to share the location of the character if you just click this one you have the location rotation the scale if like you or let's say I want to start at the character when it's looking like that one at the frame zero. I just no, no, no. Let me just delete this one. You can just delete or undo. Just light click and delete. Then I have transformation. And then it will show me on this those three dots here. Like you have on this point, your character is located on those points. So if I go on front and on this point, maybe uh, I just first of all put the frame I'm, I'm just putting this one on the wrong side uh, let me maybe put that one there and maybe on this side I would like to come here and maybe rotate my character uh, like that And now you can see like the character is going down because we did some key framing this is what we call the keys and framing so this is how you call the transformation okay just change. this one i'll just show you a lot when i'm using the camera and when i'm doing some more animation so thank you for watching this video and bye for now